talking about local winds or land breezes and sea breezes. We've already discussed high pressure and low pressure. Remember, high pressure is cold air that is sinking and low pressure is warm air that is rising. Cold air sinks because it is more dense. Warm air rises because it is less dense. Let's begin by filling in the blanks to our notes. Energy from the sun heats up the earth, causing changes in air pressure. These changes in air pressure result in convection currents that create wind. So remember, we said that the heat is going to rise, right? This is our low pressure, it's less dense. And the cold is going to sink, this is our high pressure, because it is more dense. This space that we see right here, where the cold air replaces the warm air, this is wind. We're going to look more closely at that in our notes today. One thing that we need to understand is that land changes temperatures faster. Land changes temperatures very quickly. It means that land heats up and cools down faster than water. I want you to think of going to the beach. If you go to the beach on a really hot day during the daytime, what does the land or the sand feel like? Yeah, it's usually really, really hot. So hot sometimes you have to run to the water to cool your feet off. When the sun goes down though, what does the sand or the land feel like? Yeah, once the sun goes down, the land starts to cool off. So it's going to heat up and cool off faster than water. I'm gonna go to the bottom of my page and I'm gonna look at sea breeze. I want you to look at this colorful picture that you see on your page. What time of day does a sea breeze happen? Yeah, it's happening in the daytime during the day. Can even draw a little sun here to remind me that a sea breeze happens in daytime. We can tell by the picture. During the day, what temperature do you think the land is going to be? Yeah, the land is going to be warm. What temperature is the water going to be during the day? Good, the water is cool. So the land is warm and the water is cool. I'm also gonna label that on my picture here. So I can label the land as being warm and the water as being cool. Now this is a great picture with a lot of numbers and colorful letters that describes how a sea breeze occurs. I'm gonna draw a simple picture here to the right. You all can marvel at my artistic abilities. So I have land and I have water. Remember, this is during the day. Which of these is going to be warmer during the day, the land or the water? Excellent, the land. So underneath land, I'm gonna write warm. What temperature do you think the water is going to be during the day? Good, it's going to be cool. So if we have the sun here, the sun is going to be heating up the surface of the earth. So that air right above the land is gonna feel like what temperature? Yeah, it's gonna be hot. And what do we know hot air does? Awesome, hot air rises. What kind of pressure does warm air have? 
excellent low pressure. Now what's gonna happen to that air as it goes over the water? What's gonna start to happen to it? Excellent, it is going to start to cool off. And cool air does what? Yeah, it starts to sink. Why does cool air sink? Excellent, because it is more dense. What kind of cool air, what kind of pressure would cool air have? Great, high pressure. So again, as this cool air rushes in to fill the space of this hot air, it's going to create a breeze that's going to feel very cool to us. Okay, let's look at a land breeze here. What time of day do land breezes occur? Awesome, yeah, these happen at nighttime. So I can draw a little moon there to help me remember. That is a terrible looking moon. And what do you think the temperature of the land will be at night? Yeah, the land is gonna cool off, but what's gonna happen to the water? Yeah, the water is actually going to be warm. It takes a lot longer for that water to be able to cool off. So I'm gonna go ahead and label that on my colorful picture. The land here is going to be cool and the water is going to be warm. Let's draw that picture. So I have my land, I have my water, draw my little moon there. That is not a good looking moon. Miss Summers is not an artist, guys. So let's think, which is gonna be warmer at night, the land or the water? Good, so I'm gonna write warm underwater. And what temperature do you think the land is gonna be? Excellent, the land is going to be cool. So where are we going to have rising warm air? Where is that gonna come from? Excellent, yeah, the air is gonna start to rise here because it is warm. So here is our warm air. What kind of pressure does warm air have? Good, low pressure. Now what happens as this air starts to move over the land? What's it gonna start to do? Awesome, it is gonna start to cool off. So it's gonna sink down. So that air is cool, it starts to sink. We have high pressure. And as that cool air starts to fill in the space here, what are we gonna see created? Awesome, a breeze. So one easy way to remember the difference between a land breeze and a sea breeze is to think of the name. Winds are named from where they originate. That means their name is from where they come. Where they come from is their name. So if I look here at my land breeze, where does a land breeze come from? Good, it comes from the land. And I can do the same thing for a sea breeze. I'm gonna circle the word sea because a sea breeze comes from the sea. Excellent. One last time, let's review. Warm air does what? It rises, why? Because it's less dense. And cold air does what? It sinks because it's 